I would like to ask Lloyd Blanchett and Dale Locke, representatives for the Junior Sports Committee, to come forward to unveil this statue which has been placed here to commemorate. exemplifies what Fort St. John tries to offer its citizens. At any rate, it's now my great pleasure to invite the two former mayors and the Premier Gordon Campbell uh, to join me in, in cutting this ribbon and officially opening the Fort St. John Interplex. to in tonight's program. So I'm going to start um, by introducing a very important person. Uh, to bring greetings on behalf of the Senate, I would like to please welcome the Honorable Richard Newfeld. Well, thank you very much and a warm welcome to everyone that's here tonight to actually view this great facility. It is such a, a wondrous place to, to be. And I must say, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the man and the party that was extremely responsible for helping get this project kicked off the ground and I'm very happy to introduce to you the greatest leader we could possibly have, have representing us, Premier Gordon Campbell. Thank you very much Pat and thank you all for being here tonight. And I was watching this team of Canadian speed skaters. And there was a young guy that I'd met who just won a medal, at, a gold medal, I think it was at the World Juniors, who I said at the time, well, are you going for the Olympics? He said, I'm going for the Olympics. I said, do you think you're gonna win? He said, I'm gonna win. You know what he did? Denny Morrison and his team won a gold medal 228 days ago today. A man from Fort St. John. You couldn't find a better ambassador for sport. You couldn't find a better ambassador for Fort St. John. I can tell you, people say, who are my heroes? Denny Morrison's one of my heroes. Thank you, Fort St. John. Thank you for the Interplex. And uh, I remember on my way to the medal ceremony in Torino when I won the silver medal. Uh, I was with my teammates in a vehicle, and there's music playing, we're all jacked up because we just won the silver medal at 20 years old and uh, just so excited. And my immediate liaison passes me the phone. He says, Denny, it's, uh, the, it's uh, on the phone for you. I said, oh, what? So I answer the phone. Hey, Denny, it's, uh, it's Premier Gordon Campbell here. I just want to, I said, what? Premier who? <laughs> and uh, it's one of my favorite memories of uh, me and Gordon Campbell. And uh, he says, it's Premier Gordon Campbell. I said, oh, wow. Uh, hey, Gordo, what's up, buddy? <laughs> that was a uh, good conversation. And uh, following the, uh, that intro to that phone call, he mentioned, uh, he said, it's going to be hard for me not to approve of all the, uh, it's going to be hard for me not to approve of the, uh, the Fort St. John Interplex getting built up there in Fort St. John now that you've won the silver medal for, for our province and for our country. And uh, I thought that was pretty neat at the time. And I never realized how much impact it could have. And, and now here we are sitting here and standing here today in this uh, amazing facility. And uh, I'm just excited about uh, all, the, all the things it can, can bring to this city. So to kind of commemorate uh, the Oval at the time and do something a little bit special, we had a, a, a special ceremony, one that would connect the old Oval with the new building. We embedded a time capsule filled with medals, mittens, and memories. Actually, 
right over there. Uh, kind of blue line on the hockey rink. Anyway, too many details. Um, in the same symbolic way as the Lucky Looney was embedded in the ice in Salt Lake City before the Canadian men's hockey team won Olympic gold. With a special announcement regarding the Interplex, please welcome the president of the Pomeroy Inn and Suites Incorporated, Ryan Pomeroy. With great pride that uh, we'd like to officially welcome uh, everyone here today uh, to the grand opening and to announce uh, our title partnership in the facility. Uh, so welcome everyone for the first time to the Pomeroy Sports Center.